as we look at these poll numbers, I don't know if we have it in the control room, but there was um, video just moments ago of President Biden arriving at Dover Air Force Base after flying from Las Vegas, after disclosing he has been diagnosed with COVID. Um, obviously, he is sick, although his doctors, the White House doctors, have been saying it, it isn't a bad case, that he doesn't have a fever. I just watched the footage, and I have to tell you, he looked really unsteady and ill, uh, obviously. I don't know about you guys, but flying across the country when you're yeah, healthy doesn't feel here. so great. Here's the shot. Um, oh, but my as, God. as he comes, it's more when he comes, he's down on the tarmac. Um, but he's, uh, he, he looks, he looks frail. And, and now juxtapose that. But with, he is frail. Right, I mean, yeah. I, don't, I don't get this kind of Groundhog Day thing we keep doing with Biden. I mean, I, when has he not been this way? <laughs> He was not this, he wasn't in great shape when he ran against Biden the first time, uh, Trump the first time. That's why he said he was a one-term guy. And he, and he had the advantage in 2020 of two things. America desperately wanted change, trend, right? We and he was able to run from the basement because of coronavirus and because of the lockdowns. He said, whoa, 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 right. basement campaign, right. that's, that's okay. And we wanted old, tired, and not crazy. Well, we'll yeah. juxtapose yeah. this, so he's now um, suffering from COVID. And this is how he appears, whether it's different or well, not. Well, actually, and the shot I saw was from a different angle. You couldn't really see him on that shot. Oh, that was it even was worse? From, yeah. And, and okay, so, so, so that's Biden who hit, was hit with the virus. Donald Trump was hit with a bullet. And he's putting his hand up like this. Symbolism matters in politics. Optics matter. And, and you know, people have said, oh, you know, this couldn't be worse timing for Biden. I'm not sure that's the case because there's still time before the election, and this stuff, you know, fades pretty quickly. If but he gets better in a few days, uh, depending on the treatment that he's getting, depending on how much viral load he has, the spin will be, you see, he's not that sick. He just beat COVID. Yeah. Um, so, you know, he's okay. But again... <laughs> there's no youth elixir out there. Yeah, there's no youth elixir. <laughs> and again, I mean, I, I talk to people who are around him, and I talk to people who are influential within the party. They are not... They did not wake up to some reality that Joe Biden, it's the polls have been moving. The polls are moving and they are worried. But what I don't get, it doesn't make sense to my political mind, is what is telling you that somebody gives you a better chance? I don't buy these numbers. Harris loses based on these numbers. I don't get the theory of the case that you change just to lose. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.